Heading off to the Cook Islands, Rarotonga, and then lax on to Otitaki. We're just going for a holiday. Oh, just relaxing in the sun and just, yeah, sipping on cocktail. <laughs> um, we've been planning for it for a few months, really, like, um, and because we're used to sort of travelling to Fiji or the islands sort of once a year, and we haven't been able to go anywhere for a couple of years, so when Raro opened, we're just like, yeah, let's go. You must be looking forward to going back home. Uh. I love to go back home. There's no place like home. So that's why I have to go through all these uh, channels before I leave for Cook Island. How do you feel about the risks of COVID getting onto Cook Island? Right now, at the moment, in Cook Island. Anyway, I work for the Cook Island, for the Minister of Health in the Cook Island. Uh, we had uh, three complete uh, set for the Cook Island. So, Right now, it's, we don't have any problem in the Cook Island. So we're waiting for to, uh, to receive anything that comes to the Cook Island. We, we have a group of four, four friends who were established travellers, and we are obviously ready for the rock and roll of the island. Why did you guys choose to go today? Is it because of the first bubble fight? Oh, I, potentially, yes, but Alison might be able to answer that question. Oh, it was, we had to change flights and we just managed to squeeze it in before I have to go back to school in the beginning of, at the end of January, yeah. And this is the first time for Rotopon? Oh no, not for me. I've been many times, so I've, I'm very keen to go back. How are you guys feeling about the trip? Obviously, excited. naturally excited. <laughs> the tension in the air is <laughs> breathtaking. What's, what's uh, one thing that you guys are most looking forward to when you get to Rotopon? Me personally, snorkelling and maybe seeing turtles. That's my thing, yes.